Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. I want you to listen to this so that I will throw out this is uh, the VN that was made by Ken some time ago. I want you to listen to it so that we will throw our minds back. Why I'm saying this is that the only person that can tell us what is really happening is Ken and he's not talking. All these things everybody's ranting is not is not necessary. You know, if Ken comes out to speak and tell people their fate, everybody will have it in their back of mind. So this thing that is happening is a criminal act. You collect the money from people, say you will promise something to them and you just keep mute. So the best thing now is where is Ken? Let him come out and address. If there's no money, let him say. If there's money, let him say. So all these ones they are coming, this side will defend Ken, this side will attack AGPG, and this side will attack Supreme. No. We, yes, Supreme have their other people have their grants. That is their own business. The person that collected the huge amount of money so far in grant community is Ken. No, no grant did verification. No grant did verification like UAG. Uh -huh. Tiobat did, but Tiobat own is a child's play. Ken really collected a lot of money. So the best book now, most people that are talking, yes, even though they pay to other grant handlers, Ken collected lion share. Let Ken come out and address the masses. At least Tioba comes out once in a while and talk. Yes, Supreme talks, Power of Five talks. We we'll see all these people. Where is Ken? So I want you to listen to this. Anya who came yesterday and I was saying a lot of things. Countering. What you have been hearing, grand community, I want us to refresh our memory back so that we we'll know who to go after. Going after AGPG and going is a distraction. Yes, AGPN are doing their own evil. But what is at stake now is where is Ken, first of all, to talk? Abdul comes once in a while and speak. Yes. Let Ken come and tell us our fate. You know. So that some food soldiers will stop defending him and some people will stop because the more he keeps quiet, the more people are scamming people. Let him come out and make a declaration so that everybody will know their feet. So in this grand community now, the person we should go after and try to let him talk is Ken. If Ken talks now, there's no money. Everybody go and sleep. But the way he's keeping mute, a lot of people are scamming people with the hope that money will come out someday. So I want you to listen to this throwback talk from Ken so that you will see how deceptive he is. All these people that come out and excuse him, his man of God is, is calm. Listen to this. See on the other side. Yeah, Dr. Lufemi, God bless you. And how I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. I am... Uh, allow and agree with him for this meeting so that I can update you the situation of things. From the last time we had a meeting, the general meeting until now, many things has happened. To the glory of God, all is in our favor. I want to thank every one of you for standing with us in this very as very assignment it's a god-given assignment i never bargained for it neither did i went to lobby for it and the same vein god raised all of you to stand with me even without knowing full details of what is going on but you chose to stand with uag indeed uag is an african assignment it's an assignment not just nigeria but it pleases the Lord who are choosing us to be where we are. And I want to say to, the, to God be all the glory. Last week Thursday, there was a serious meeting between the stakeholders in the government and the government, the committee, the cabals, and everybody whose interest is in this money. And the donors who are still here. So when the first day meeting went, it was not really palatable and information were sent out by someone in the committee said the government is going to clamp down this 
whole thing about this UAG grant. And they're going to take a reason because people from the other camp are loving and doing all manners of things, even some threatenings that they must be the one that is in their hand. So the government is going to take advantage of that and push everything to be quiet till after this uh, election. And when it comes to after an election, you and I know that it's a, it's a forgotten thing. It will never be hard again. So a lot of prayers were made, calling on God from different quarters. And God, who answered prayer, who's heard the cry of the masses, had to go and extend to the even to the United Nations. And delegates were sent out to intervene. The donors who are supposed to go were told not to leave Nigeria. So they canceled their going. And they let Nigeria know that this money has no business with Nigerian government. It was not given to government, it was given to an NGO. And the NGO is dead. The, take, the main principal is dead. But someone is still alive. And he's in Nigeria, he's in Abuja, by name Apostle Ken Wakama. So these are the people that have say into this thing. Government should remove their eyes. Because it's a program of UN for countries that are under United Nations, except Nigeria is resigning from UN. Based on these high delegations and other things that God did there, they all give in for the involvement. The CBN governor, the director, CEOs of all the banks, other and the directors of the banks were in the meeting. And it was a really call of meeting to just terminate everything. But Lord, it become a, a, an instrument that God used. So there and then they were instructed, instruction were given to you, a CBN, to let go, give the banks authorization to this was quickly. In fact, from the presidency, they were hard. Uh, and the order came from the president that the money be dissolved that same Friday. Let them start. But they had to tell them that it's not possible based on banking systems. Everything will start on Monday. If you start on Monday, Tuesday, maximum of Wednesday, all the angels will be accredited. That is where we are. And the donors suspend their going. As we speak, they are still in the country. They have been around, but they are, uh, people are convinced why it was over one month or two. It's not the same people that came. They were changing themselves to come after a while. They will go another group who will be there. That is how they have been doing for these past two months. So at this point in time, the disbursement had been permitted and cleared for the disbursement the money. So this morning, they have been in bank. I don't understand all the terminology of banking system or accounting system, but they've been in banks, going through all the whole banks. So they said they will finish this evening. Once they are done this evening, that this night or tomorrow morning, the bank will start crediting all the all the NGO accounts. And I asked a question. I thought you were using a, a, an app. We'll be doing it from the office and it will go in just like where we are transferring money. They say, yes, they see the app, but they want to make sure things did not go wrong from those banks. Okay. Uh, that's what they were doing today. Uh, so by this time tomorrow, I believe God that a larger number of NGOs have been credited because they gave me assurance that disbursement is going to take place. It's already happening. But they want to do everything, load out the system once. So the four banks will offload what remains with them. Those who have already done something before, then they, they will be authorized to to use the money and start doing what they're supposed to do by this person. So the way it is now, I'm expected to be with them probably on Thursday morning, if not Wednesday night, evening. 
to sign the document for the donors. So they expected to leave, I think, by Friday. If I sign the donor for the donors, the, the report document for them, then I'll do the brokers immediately. Then the brokers will tell them the angels they how much of what this boss and what they are going to pay and what they expected to do. And the closer on us and uh, closer sponsors, data sponsors, should know what belongs to them so that nobody will defraud anybody, either NGO or the closer owner. That is the brokers coming. And also the brokers will let Nigeria know exactly who is paying money and where the money is coming from. So I want you all to stand with me continually in your prayers and in ways about we need I need your support because there is a, a something I need to do before even the money started reflecting because of my position and because of the 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 how a bit risky the whole of the work is because we know the other man and his group. Mm, so many things have been, I will not say that to uh, public here, but from now, the the ex inner executive members of this, uh, our beloved group, will be communicating with the general because uh, I don't think I may have time again for this general house meeting because of what is, I'm going into. But however, but the assignment is not only this Nigeria assignment. Even if not Nigeria assignment, we still have times more than times four of what we have now that is still there, that is coming for Nigeria. So I will try to plead you to you people to permit me to be talking to the the executive we are going to uh, establish from this bo body, so that uh, when I speak to them they can pass information and then Dr. Lufemi can be able to convey the information to the general body using the same platform that we already have at this point in time. So I want to say thank you for all of you. The Lord bless you. Uh, everything will happen according to God's plan and victory is our own. There's no failure because God had never given me assignment that failed from, from over 28 to 30 years I've been serving him as a minister of God. Whatever he sent me, succeed. So this one is already a success. We will share this money and enjoy the money and get ourselves ready for the bigger assignment that is coming. Thank you all. The Lord bless you. Keep you and preserve all of you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.